vacation, I saw this pipe lamp in one of the shops we were in and thought, boy, I'd like to make one of those. When I got home and working from the photo I had taken, I built this pipe lamp. And my daughter really liked it, which gave me the idea of, hmm, maybe I'll make her one for Christmas. So this video is going to be about the one that I made for my daughter, a little different than the one we made for ourselves. And I'm going to show you from the beginning to the end how I did it. Now this is all made from half inch galvanized pipe. And what I do, I start from the very bottom, from the base, where the legs go on. And here I'm just assembling a couple of the fittings. piece I just assembled there actually is where the stem of the light uh, comes up from. Now here I'm uh, assembling the four inch extensions for the legs. I'm not going to give too many dimensions on this because you can build this any way you want. Uh, it's just a matter of buying the fittings that uh, uh, the dimensions that you need. Uh, but I, uh, the basics are to really start from the bottom, uh, as I'm doing here. For the lamp portion of this, I bought a bottle lamp kit from Lowe's. And uh, right now I'm just going to use the wire at this point in time and insert it through the back of the uh, little fitting assembly that I made here. Uh, as you can see here in just a second. If I can ever get it untied, that is. And you just want to feed this back up through the back so that the plug will be coming out the back when you're finished. As you can see here, I removed the uh, front part of this assembly to make that wire a little easier to thread through. I kind of bent it a little bit to try and get it to go up because it has to turn and go straight up at this point. So I got a needle nose pliers and reached in there and pulled it up. Be a little careful with it but I got it up through there and then of course you have to put the fitting back into the assembly there so you wind up having to spin the entire wire so you just have to kind of watch that and there may be a better way to do this this is just how I did it And then you get that toward the top, pull some more of the wire through there. And this is just putting the elbows on to form the feet, so we'll speed this clip up a little. And here I'm putting in the first vertical piece and threading the wire as I go. At this point I'm adding a T to the assembly so that I can add some fittings off to the side. gave me an old pressure gauge so I thought I would add that to the lamp. I had to use a couple of adapters uh, to get it to half inch so I could use a half inch elbow to mount it to the lamp. Next, 
it was time to add another vertical piece. Here's the original fittings that were on that old gauge, which were a nightmare to get off. I think they'd been on there for 50 years probably. And now I want to add another T to the assembly so I can uh, put a little more bling on the uh, lamp. I like to always put a valve on the lamp. The last valve I put on, I put it in the middle of the vertical shaft and it was very difficult to get the wire through it. So I decided to put a T in here and put it off to the side. vertical piece goes in. Now here I'm installing the top elbow so we can begin to put the uh, socket in for the lamp. A short piece and then another elbow. I'm going to use this galvanized metal vase as a lampshade. So I need to draw a pattern uh, with three lines across to determine where the middle of the circle is. So you divide the lines in half and draw a line and it should be the middle of that circle. safe when you're doing this kind of thing. And I get out the hole saw, put it on the drill here, and we'll drill a hole in the bottom of that uh, vase and go from there. part putting in the light socket. First thing you have to do is put the shade up over there and it's kind of in your way when you're working. And then I used a half inch to an inch adapter and the light socket will fit inside that adapter. Hopefully. And of course the lampshade didn't hang straight <clears throat> so I had to make a washer to keep the lampshade from tilting. I found some material just laying on the workbench that I used to make a washer out of and redid the process putting that fitting back on and I got the lampshade to hang straight by doing that. Time to wire the lamp socket. And then, of course, you have to adjust the lamp cord length because it uh, got a little bit too much there, so you have to shorten that up. As you can see here, I use an antique style bulb. And with this type of a lamp, the bulb is always going to hang down below the shade. I don't know of any way of avoiding that. However, after I looked at this, I decided that bulb was just a little bit too big. So I wound up removing the bulb and taking it back to the store and getting a little bit smaller one. But basically, this is how I built my lamp. I hope it's of some value to you. Uh, they're not hard to build. A little bit tedious, but uh, not bad. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and subscribe for more of my videos. And I will see you next time.